You're in oh. Wisconsin. In Wisconsin, land of cheese heads. <laughs> Found a couple cheese They're heads. They're wild up here. <laughs> Why do you live here? The interview on the interviews on YouTube no. where they interview people while they eat hot wings. Oh no. You no. could start the kicking interview. I know, that just reminded me. I want to do kicking or like climbing a mountain on a bike. Oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> the idea is you're uncomfortable. You're uncomfortable. Can't really breathe. You just say kind of what the first thing that comes to your mind. So, no. <laughs> I thought that was the land's end. Get the bag with your name on it. That's how you know you're a mom. <laughs> that and a mini. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, where's your Santa hat you got? Oh, yeah. You found it? Yeah, I found it. Oh, yeah. You got to keep the... It's a nice puffy one like that. Oh, it's going to barely fit with the hat. You got to keep the hat on, though. There we go. It's a nice little Christmas touch. Looks good. Just the season, right? Yep. Also, plug. <laughs> <laughs> noon. Noon. Best out there. Team Noon. Team Noon for sure. Yes. There you go. We'll leave that one under it. Oh, then smart. you'll stay warm. Yeah, I don't, they don't cover the ears enough. Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah. I 
good at ready. protection. My eyes cry the whole time. Oh yeah, mine would too. Intimidating on this steady oh, run. <laughs> the smile and the intimidating glasses. No shoe, eh? Yeah, I hate shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Got any bouncy zoomers on? Some what? Any bouncy carbon fancy shoes? So oh, <laughs> bouncy zoomers. <laughs> Super nice, always smiling. So we met in Memphis. Mm -hmm. We only live, well, where I, my parents live, an hour and a half from each other. So I shot up for a little tra training day, having breakfast, and a little interview here. Been racing for a long time. I feel like I met Mark and we have Midwest vibes. He's like my little brother now, so. <laughs> True. <laughs> no, she's awesome. So yeah, just a fun little interview. Maybe I'll do more of these with people, but. Um, kind of along the lines of what YouTube should be used for is telling a story. So and she's she's got a good story, and we're just we both like to have fun during training and racing and good food. Yeah, I'm worried. Yeah, good food. You showed up with a huge actual notebook of mm. questions. <laughs> <laughs> with my little scribbles. So yeah. Questions for Jackie. I have some good questions for her. Yeah. Also, we're gonna eat during this because. Oh yeah, we're hungry. Efficiency, and we're hungry. It's 18 degrees <laughs> out. And we both have things to do later today. Yeah. Probably another workout, and you've got some kids to take care of. And first question, we have to go in order. Do you have a triathlon crush? I know you're married, but... I'm married, so I can't officially answer that yeah, question. Yeah, unofficially then. Well, I guess <laughs> probably Jan. Jan? Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, mean a lot ever since stuff. he showed up to Daytona and had his own like personal bathrobe <laughs> down at the swim start, that was just mm -hmm. very pro. It was like a rocky vibe. Yeah, he yeah, had that was a really vibe. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, he's probably my my he's male your crush, crush too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not totally sure who my female crush is. Lisa, the dancing. Child I guess athlete. so. Yeah. Lisa. The, tic <laughs> the TikTok star. That wasn't actually supposed to be the first question, but just went from the top. <laughs> How many years have you been doing triathlon? I did my first triathlon in 2005. 2005, and it was a sprint try. A sprint try, and it got you hooked. And then how long were you amateur for? Well, in 2005, 6, and 7, I did one sprint race per summer and didn't actually ride a bicycle, except for that day. <laughs> so, 2008, I did a half Ironman, and that's when I started maybe training. Yeah. Uh, and then I went pro in 2000, after the two, at the end of 2010. Okay, so it's been 10, 11 years. That's awesome, and the sports obviously changed quite a bit, and it's just in the past year changed yeah. a time. Yeah, right? a so year different. Yeah, it's crazy. But it's exci is it exciting for you? Yeah, it's exciting. I like, I'm just happy to be a part of it mm -hmm. and still be racing and... Racing really well too, yeah. and crushing it. Yeah, oh, I'm happy about it. And it is cool to like be part of the PTO stuff, but also it's really exciting just to envision what it's gonna be like for like the next generation of people yeah really I mean, really good yeah i think it's gonna be really cool and you see this quote all the time the like rising tide raises all boats yeah. so like sure that like you don't get a pto bonus at the end of the year if you're you know beyond 100 but like so obviously the goal is getting time but just yeah. like more exposure more race opportunities 
what class did they sent out the photos that was awesome like that was my first time seeing that and they sent out the viewership they sent out the reach they sent all this stuff yeah all this like just ways to get traction for sponsors big barrier of entry into the sport if you can get some more traction the sooner you get traction then like the better. Yep. So that's, it is really exciting. It's and, awesome. Um, I'm so new to long course, but it's, I could tell that this is a wave that you should be part of. Part yeah. Of, so. Yeah. It's going to be tricky for you yeah, we'll to see. decide. <laughs> we'll Olympics. <laughs> money. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, uh, hopefully it doesn't have to be a choice. Hopefully it can be, it can be uh, yeah. kind of something that works together. <laughs> so someone responded to the poll I had on Instagram and they, they wanted to know like, how to nail long run or long ride fueling. If you have any tips for that, here it's, it varies quite a bit. Long runs in the cold, I don't do much for because you're yeah. freezing and you can't warm. open food packages. Nope. Usually, or I'll like loop home if it's cold and I gotta do something really long. I'll loop back to the car. I'll loop home. Yeah, that's always a good idea. If it's really warm, loop back. Leave like a gel or a water bottle yeah. out. Take a sip. Something. Yeah. And then for a long bike. I mean, I'm like a gas station junkie. Yeah, so, so am I. <laughs> I'm kind of like quick trip. What do you got? Yeah, Give that's, me I a mean, coke. that's some good tips. Just yeah. uh, my rule is and like something every hour, whether it be a banana, try to finish a bottle, try yeah. to, and then like not just water. Another plug here with the noon. There's the noon endurance, new tablets. Yeah. They have carbs. So, like, if you're doing something four hours long, you know, a couple of scoops of that. And yeah. So. I mean, you figure it out because if you just do water and right. then all of a sudden two hours in, you're you like turning into jello yeah, exactly. and you can't ride your bike anymore. The other big thing is that's good. long rides, long runs are really good race prep. So practicing your race day nutrition yeah. on the bike um, is a great opportunity. Uh, who, who has the best calves in the sport? Best calves in the sport. Because um, Ben Hoffman, he's known as having the butt. Do you believe, is the hype real? I think. Is the hype real? Is the hype real? I think the hype's real. I think he's got his own Instagram account he does, for his he does. calves. I saw them at uh, Memphis. His calves in real were, life? <laughs> in real life. They, they were nice. <laughs> yeah, so he I can't think of as for women. Do this, I have any single friends? Oh yeah, that's a little asterisk to make sure I asked you that one. Do you, I do. Do you have any single friends for, for me? <laughs> I can find some. I can find some. Um, were you a fat baby or a skinny baby? Very fat. Very fat. Very. Do you, do you know the weight? I was over, I was like nine pounds, eight nine ounces pounds. or something when I was oh four. And I had like five rolls just on the top of my legs. Thing. I wish. I hope you can put a picture. A baby photo. A baby photo. I'll, I'll find one. Because I was also really fat. Yeah. So maybe we'll do a side by side. Mm. As a YouTuber, what I'm supposed to say is leave a comment. Cuter. It's cuter. All right. Serious question. Okay. You ran. Jackie ran a 115 for a half marathon last year, right? No. Last this year. Month. Sorry. This year. Last month. And they just came out the new Olympic trial cut. What is it? It's faster. It's a 112 now. Oh. So with that response, you obviously haven't thought about that ever trying to pull You should. That'd be sweet, wouldn't it? I mean, that'd 112, that's a big jump, but like, I think you could jump. do it. That would be so sweet. That'd be amazing. And, well, yeah, I haven't thought of that. I'm have, not sure if that's possible for me. What pace is that? Six something? Six flat, maybe. I don't know. Oh, no. Because of... 115 One was a 545. 545, okay. Yeah, I have no idea. So I'm that off. seems really fast. So, yeah, they <laughs> just lowered it. I mean, it's crazy fast. Yeah. They, like, last Olympic trials was massive, and I guess they just, like, really didn't want it as big. But you have two years, three three years till the trials. Oh, my Lord. But that would be really cool. 112 could happen. But we're on this topic. What is the biggest deficit you've made up coming off the bike? To probably. Win, to win. Probably that last. This class? Yeah. Really? Yeah, you what? Five minutes? Yeah. Five, five over and a half. five minutes down. That's embarrassing. Gosh, that is crazy. It's so bad. <laughs> she came, she, so she came down from, she came off the bike five and a half minutes down, and you still won. That's epic. And it was an 11 mile run. You saw her, it was like, okay, give me yeah. 11 minutes. Yeah, it helps. I think if it wasn't a course like that where I could see her, mm -hmm. 
it's unlikely. Yeah, out of sight, out of mind yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, out of sight, out of mind. And with that gap, it's kind of like, what's the point? Yeah, or like, it's it. not possible, so. That's nuts. If you were stuck on an island, your husband could be there. Okay. You guys could have, and your kids could be there. Um, All right, how about no kids? No kids, okay. okay. You guys have five things to survive. What are the first five things you're, you're grabbing for or for packing? Um, there's nothing like there's like, like think of castaway. Okay. So like there's probably coconut. Like I don't know. You gotta okay. be resourceful. We're gonna need a fishing pole with a hook. Okay. With a hook. Is that, is that two? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. A fishing pole setup. Okay, but fishing let, setup. We'll, we'll let that slide. We're gonna need goggles because I'm gonna have to swim. <laughs> this is survival. Mental health survival. <laughs> <laughs> okay, goggles and fishing setup. Okay, um, I've also been watching the show alone. This might be affecting my choices here because that shows like they're dropped and they get 20 items. Oh man! But they have to survive. But it sounds like yeah, this is we very have to survive. Similar. Yeah, you have to. So survive. we need a, so. we need a tarp. We need a knife. Okay, that's four. <laughs> <laughs> we need probably a bow and arrow. Okay, you're. You're not gonna make the bow and arrow. Like some things you can make. Your husband sounds like he's a hunter, so he can make a bow and arrow. He can make a fishing pole. Would be easier to bring that stuff. Harvest all your food. Harvest all your food. Okay. Kill it. I think you'll survive for a little bit. We need the a fi fire starter. The fi yeah. The oh, you can make your own fire. No, I'm you need sure. like a flint rock. Oh, okay. Yeah. You gotta watch the show alone. Trust me. On yeah, but on Castle, he does the, the stick. Mm. He slices his hand over. Yeah. yeah. That's right. He learned. <laughs> Those are the good items though. The fishing, the fishing rod, the, the hook that's essential. Yeah, the maybe items. like a Kindle preloaded with like a thousand <laughs> books on it. Ooh, that's six. Yeah, that's a luxury. If I could, I need and like... And unlimited battery on that. Unlimited battery. If I have like a million books plus my god. What about AeroPress or, or a coffee maker? Good idea. That's going to be important. Yeah, we would need that or we get in really bad moods. I don't think we're going to survive. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that'd be, um, honestly, it'd be kind of fun to test. Like, obviously, you know, like, you're not gonna die, but like, just put me out there and see how long we can make it. I think it'd be really fun. I wouldn't make it that long, uh, but some, if you can hunt and fish, you would make it yeah, longer. Yeah, you'd make it a lot longer. Yeah.